Hi guys, this is Friday Biology and welcome to Keeper RL. Now, should we let the mask get over with? There you go, last one's dead, awesome. Now I've I've noticed that there are a few mobs and a few little sprites that I've not yet seen. So I've decided that I'll do another series, a uh, let's play, and we'll see if we just get a, a breeding kind of pattern and happening. And we should be fun, right? Uh, we'll just start in a dungeon campaign thingy. We have bandits. That's actually a pretty good start. It's a very good start. We have an unknown ally over here. Very good. I quite like that. Uh, I don't care about imps. Uh, neither should anyone else, to be frank. Uh, hmm. Very good. Now, uh, dabbling dark arts. Uh... Villain? No. Ivilla? Ivilla? What is your name? You're Griff the Keeper. Very stoutly. Now, uh, I have decided to start off with this rather than continuing the room world because I'll just continue the room world anyway. Uh, room world has updated to 16. And we'll run away quickly. Dwarf misses Imp. Good. And then, like, Fox bites head off, and then we're buggered. Uh, but yeah, I've decided that once it gets up to... Remote gets up to, I don't know, an update of... Mm, let's say 16B or C. Uh, then I'll see how well it works with my kind of composition mod. And then once I'm happy with how my composition mod is working, then I'll upload that and start a new series. Uh, my composition mod is just simply just corrections that I like. Uh, so at the moment I'm trying to figure out how to... Fox is wounded. We'll heal, grab a fox corpse. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how to get animals and humans, well, friendly colonist animals and friendly colonist humans to be separate from strangers because my idea is that my necrophilia mod should be allowable in that I should be able to somehow differentiate human corpses from animal corpses and then have alloy alloys, uh, allies differentiated as well. Um, Theoretically, a necrophile wouldn't theoretically degrade somebody that they don't know, right? Uh, well, that's my thought on it. I don't, I, I haven't really met a necrophile, so I don't really know how that goes. But that you don't want to anger a rival kind of kind of colony or a raiding group because you defiled their brothers and sisters as they lay dead and bleeding. Um, after death or before death, <laughs> that could be kind of fun. Uh, we we have somebody who takes advantage of people who are like unconscious. That would be fun. It'd be it'd be it's horrendous, horrible. But you know, like we could we could have that. Well, I I think I may try and work that in. It'd be kind of cool. It's like Timothy has raped um, Thingamabob. <laughs> Timothy, of course, psychopath. Uh, who's massively uh, optimistic and never suffers any breaks. Uh, oh, uh, death. If somebody dies in front of them, then they have a period of mourning. So rather than suffering a mental break, they mourn for the person. Uh, similar to meditating. I'm just getting them to meditate, actually. They just go into their room, they hide for a little bit, and they come out later on. Firing. Fine. Now, we've got plenty of trees. I do like having bits of... How big is this bit of rock? That's kind of nice. Let's... Okay, uh, you... Dig... One, two, three... And that's three. That's three as well. I 
think I'll allow it to be like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, don't just cut across from there. That'll be fine. Now we're going to throw a torch right here. And I'm going to get rid of some of these trees. And this, uh, we'll leave those. Resources, boop. Lair, we'll see if we can get a bird of some kind. That was... <sighs> trying to dig it out too quickly for me. Now, over here, if I was going to... Dig, I'd probably want it here for some reason. And that's three. It's three. That's so having a boulder trap here would be the better thing. One, two, three. Oh, pan. That's gonna hurt somebody. We'll dig these out as well. Um, yeah. Just wanna hurt people. Uh, a wolf. Damn it. Could put a. Actually, let's just throw a torch there and there. Let's go look for a nice place. Now, we have these guys over here. They're gonna be kind of painful. How far down do they spread? They only go there, okay. Boop. 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 Ah, bloody auto saving. Hey, so either way, uh, I've noticed there's a griffin, so I've put up on the forums that I need somebody to tell me how to get the griffin, because the griffin looks very cool. Uh, Oh, okay, that's as far as the map goes. Now let's just go up. Go all the way around. I'm thinking if I could get a teleport going, like get my keeper to learn teleport, he could escape multiple times. Oh, sorry, control, there we go. Ah, uh, we get to here. Uh, it's not exactly how I wanted it, but that, that'll work. You guys are happy. Uh, actually, we'll wait for them to dig and then research geography. So, perhaps sorcery would be best. No one's going to really notice us, to be honest. So, we'll also do what we like. At least for a little bit. This is going to be 
wait, hang on, where's that, is the river just, ah, oh, it doesn't come in, does it? It goes all the way to here, but, oh, if only the river was deep, uh, we could just make a little kind of, hang on, wait, up here. No, I could have dug this out and made it flying entrance. <laughs> uh, I still could, kind of. Get my keeper boots of levitation and I shall be fine and happy. Okay, so from here, if I was a keeper... That these are going to show up if they're like that, so what I need is... Probably... Just here. Which I don't like, actually. That one will do, and then we'll harvest out the trees from here. This will just throw people off, which... Is kind of why I like building <laughs> in this game. It's like, yeah, we'll just... Dig this out. And I'll dig. St I'm sorry, I'll clear everything slowly south. There we go. She can't be worth it, though, we'll just cut across. Leave that one. Boosted! When they, oh, okay, yeah. For a minute there I thought, hey, we have to do something, but we don't. No need. Okay. Boop. 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 Okay. Now. My keeper. Three. And then additional three. That's two. And this goes in all the way to there. Okay. How do I want to do this? I think, logically... Logically, I need to get rid of that completely. So, let's bring this all the way out. This is the start of my dungeon. You come in. We have boulder trap waiting for you. And then they come back to that point. And then we have the, the cuddles. And that's just going to be boulder trap with uh, the silk and then a bolt trap here coming that way very good I uh, don't think I'll bother with that I think training zone and that's how I'm going to start off. I'm eventually going to get my little guys to dig all the way down to there. Uh, we need another imp or two. Where is my guy? Did I get... Okay, you guys control... Uh, no, 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 no. Hand. Leave minions. Where is my keeper? My keeper is here. Where is my minion? What the hell are you doing? Oh. Didn't allow them to actually do anything. Awesome. Have they dug up here? Yes, they have. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Geography, geography. And let's have a look how much of the map we've discovered. Well, there's a small amount of iron ore there. It's far enough that I'm not going to bother actually getting any of it.
I'm gonna dig out this. <laughs> Which probably is not the best idea, but... Oh well. Uh, this can go up, and then it can come across. And another lot of boulder traps. Just for <laughs> just for fun. It'll be fine. Very good. Oh, uh, we're over time. Uh, auto save is happening again. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. All the same. Blah 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 blah. Uh, I think I'll just skip forward. Okay. Okay. See you in the next one, guys.